Nice producer. We're big time. <laughs> we, we had plenty of shows where usually it's one camera or sometimes Fails. all cameras. Yeah, I've done that. Just or one time we work. did a show and then we did another show after it and I erased the show before oh. and the show bef after it. I've recorded them all in slow mo by accident. <laughs> really? <laughs> I had like you know like six hundred gigabytes you gotta play of that. footage for like yeah trying did to you, fix it. Did they fix the speed? It took so long. <laughs> yeah, there were multiple times like, all right, it's just not gonna happen. And I'm like, no, it was yeah. a good interview. Come on. The one that we did with without video, and was then like, turn it into a car. So like, what are we gonna do? Just put it on on pod, you know, Apple Podcasts, and yeah. then they're like, we're gonna animate it. Really? What? And they did. And then it, into it was actually sweet. really funny. I yeah. did that with Louis C.K. I stepped in front of a camera and he was on and I it like refocused so he was just blurry the whole time. <laughs> so we just had to put like a picture of him over himself. <laughs> it was so embarrassing. Dude. Yeah, he was like, why'd you do that? Are you embarrassed to have me? I'm like, uh, no, just lack of skill. <laughs> just unprofessionalism at every level. Welcome, here we go. And I'm not Tony Hall. Hey everybody, it's Jason Ellis and Tony Hawk, Hawk vs. Wolf, greatest podcast of all time in the history of the universe. What, what he said about our podcast, uh, and we have decks that are of the podcast. Signed by the greatest skateboarder <laughs> of all time in the history of the universe, and me. Two decks, go side by side, signed by each of us. Right there, black with silver. I love this board so much. Tim Baring art on both of these. Shout out to Tim. And get yourself one of these bad boys. Black and silver, diptych, available now. Get one today. Uh, you can get it at TonyHawk.com and in the shop, right there. Yeah. Make sure you do that if you haven't. Thank you. Hey, welcome to the show. Nice. Ari Shafir is here. Killed it with the pronunciation, dude. I, I, well, I did ask. I, I, <laughs> you nailed it. Sure. Do people uh, on shows though? Do they blow it? I mean, I feel like maybe your teachers blow it or something. But Schaffer, all the, all the comedians who intentionally mispronounce it. Yeah, because I was oh. going to say, in, a comedian uh, mispronouncing at this point would be intentional. Yeah, kind of like Bert Kreischer. Bart Christmas. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I just like that there's that many people that don't that aren't comedians that because down Bert's on TV a lot and it's kind of they still blow it i'm an illiterate person but i always knew burt kreischer and it, when i right. see tv's going burt kirshner and i'm like yeah how do you get kirshner from that how do you get that we were drunk at an airport once and somebody called him like bart chrysler and i was like they were like we got a board bart chrysler and i just started dying laughing he's like a, don't tell anyone that that's oh, a new well, one i guess i blew it <laughs> <laughs> that's that like uh out. one of our kids calvin they were playing some game where you do stuff and everyone's on their phone, but it all shows up on the TV of what people are doing. It's a long story, but someone misspelled it. Cavlin. Now he's Cavlin. Yeah. yeah. That was that I forever. That. He's just Cavlin, yeah. You missed out. I made him slide down on the ramp. Are you? On the butt, yeah. yeah. How was it? Frightening, but then fine. Yeah. yeah. Really yeah. Uh, nice. He got, I could tell when I went up on the deck and he was up there and he had like the thing that you and I know where it's like... He, You're going to go out too far? He's just nervous standing on there. Like, oh, I'm yeah, like, yeah, You yeah. looked over there, and he's like, yeah, I'll look over there. And I'm like, all the way over there. He's like, he's put like, your legs on it. I was yeah. like, I put one, and then I put the other, and I put the other right back. You got bad friends. Like, I feel like he's like, yeah, look over there, and then I just push him head first yeah. into oh, it. Oh, I was for sure worried about it. I, I'm <laughs> as not, soon as you were close, I was like, nah. Yeah, I'm not that guy. We're not those people. We, we like to make you hurt yourself. Yeah. yeah. But I was like, do the butt slide, because that's the easiest thing people yeah. that can't skate can do. But the first time I slid down first and then I'm like, okay, you do it. And I told him, I put your butt past the coping before you go. Cause that's the only mistake non-skateboard people make is they put themselves out. It's not the, the only air. mistake. I got I'll, I'll tell you what Tom Segura did, but go ahead. Oh, wow. <laughs> what did Tom do? Yeah. Okay. Wait. First, okay. Okay. This finish this. Yeah. He puts his butt over. As soon as his butt goes over the coping, both arms start shaking. Oh yeah. <laughs> and then he immediately put his butt back on the deck. And I was like, oh, I want to be up there for this. It's that, you ever do cliff diving or whatever, or just jumping? You know, like a 10-foot jump or something? Yeah. yeah. The water, and then you're like, you, you realize, like, I'm going to do it. Like, you hit, and then as soon as you do, like, oh, actually, no. <laughs> like, that, as soon as you well, realize, you're gonna, that's, that's what that was. I was like, I'm going to do, nope. That's, that is the world of skateboarding. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to, hmm. <laughs> yeah, you realize it's no, real. I, yeah. So what no. did Tom do? Yeah, what did Tom do? Uh, well, this is Fat Tom or Tom, Skinny Tom? No, this is recent. Recent, the yeah. He, they shot right. something here for his tour, and uh, we had shot it, and I was in here, and I had, had shown 
uh, Taylor, his, his camera dude, how to slide down. And Taylor kind of aired in a little bit, you yeah. know, because I was like, get, get your get your butt past the scoping and then put your butt back on the wall. That's yeah, what I yeah, told yeah. him. But he, he just kind of just launched in. Yeah. And then we were done shooting the thing we're shooting. I came in here, I took my pads off, and I just it was, oh! And I came out, and Tom's on the flat, like, that was gnarly. What? I'm like, what? I Wait. told you if you wanted me, if you wanted to do it, I'd help you. He's like, yeah, well, Taylor told you, told Camera me how to do it. Camera guy showed like, him how to I roll I got Taylor not how to do it. No, he doesn't. And so I saw the video. He aired all the Jumping. way, like halfway down. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, he is. And then hit, and then was like, Meow. He's also got jelly bones. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, you know that what? was the it's irony not- was that that's what we were shooting, a fake <laughs> A thing of faking him dropping in and breaking his elbow again. <laughs> jelly bones. That? When you said jelly bones, I was like, like, hey, man. But then I was like, wait, that basketball slam is for sure the most astronomical injury I've ever seen from anybody. You, you've seen that, right? Yeah, like, yeah, there's yeah. no slam yeah. that's ever been funny in the world. I saw without wanting to see it. What? You didn't it, like it? I well, just no didn't. I wasn't. It. It's a, it defies logic, though. Yeah, it's like he, it's Bert, not like Bert, he comes Bert down Bert and falls. just brought it up. Like, have you seen this? Like what is it? Why? Why did? What did I? What did I want to watch that? I mean, I don't want him to be in pain. I don't want people to be in pain. But <clears throat> when you've had injuries like that, it's funny to me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I understand people thinking, Jason, you're being mean. But I, 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 I think, I think both those guys are awesome. And I'm sorry, but I'm not sorry because when when people when their arms bend the other way, it's I, like so. Yeah, it's so wrong. Yeah, but, but his and it knee didn't come from a slant. It came, like on the way up. It looked like a knee, witch cursed him. His knee blew out, right? Yeah. No, his he his tib fib broke when on he launched up? up. Wait, from jumping his, from jumping yeah, up, a, his his tib and fib broke, and then he tried to catch himself with his arm. I, I'm sad. I'm so bummed that I know this much about it. He but needs it, milk, I saw man. it and it's seared milk. in my memory. And then he went to catch himself on his arm. His arm couldn't take the weight, and then his arm broke and spun around. Yeah, no, that was crazy. And yeah. then Bert, that was really nice of Bert. Also, very unprofessional. Took it off and like. No, he put it back facing the right way. Yeah, which which I've I've snapped my wrist once and my knuckles hit my elbow. Yeah. And as soon as it did that, I went ah and pulled it back the other way. And I was glad that I did that. Yeah, I don't know if that's the best thing uh, in terms of recovery. I'm not leaving but... it sitting there like that. It's what if you cool twist as it I over it. though. I get it. But yeah. but anyway, you did okay coming down the ramp. Yeah, it was he fine. was fine. Okay, fun yeah. there we go. Yeah. Oh, can I curse on this? I'm sorry. I apologize. You already listeners. dropped an F bomb. You did. What? YouTube's going to uh, ban us. But Damn it. Don't worry, dude. You're, right <laughs> Damn You're it. a funny guy. You take. I'm just glad you didn't take your pants off when you walked in here. <laughs> it's just because there's a lady around. Is that a thing? Uh, you know. Kill Tony the other day. He gets. T- he just. W- he walks in. The show's already starting. He comes through the crowd, and then gets on the stage. And as soon as he gets on the stage, takes his pants off. And then the other comic, this poor guy who gets like uh, 60 but seconds. Nude or underwear? No, dude. Full wiener. <laughs> There's yeah. nothing funnier than a soft dick. It's, 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 I can think of a few uh, things, but I, I, I'll play I, along. I thought about it. I was like, if he goes full wiener, I'm going full wiener. And I'm like, we're going to get blurred out. And I'm like, Tony Hawk, is, it's, not a, it's not a wiener <laughs> show. I swear to God, don't get up. <laughs> Oh, you're ready. talking about right now. I think you're talking about Kill Tony. To. Yeah, I was just thinking, man. It, yeah, I was like, this you'll is go not, full weirdo. You're down to drop. I'm trying you'll to be a anything. comedian, and he's yeah. he. You know I mean like I, I'm like you got a nice one though. That's the problem. Right, you've seen <laughs> it. You got a nice softy. Thanks, nice man. Nice softies. It's, it's, everyone's like, ha ha. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Put your clothes back on. Yeah. It was like, a nude roast. It was a naked roast. I was hired to be naked. I didn't. Just drop it on somebody. Twirl it, too. Was I passing judgment? I'm listening to the story. Thanks, brother. I know you got my wiener. Why why are you justifying anything to me? Yeah, anyway, man. Then he puts his pants back on, and then the comedy, the the little kid, innocent guy that was like, I didn't see it. So then he attacks him with his wiener. Like, comes at him and starts wiggling it at him. It's so funny to chase people with it, too. Yeah, it's borderline. Not in comedy. Yeah, not in comedy. You, yeah. get away, you get away with a lot of stuff. Yeah, it's different. Yeah, as long as a single person's laughing. You have one. Like, Counts. <laughs> full, full ability. Yeah. It's like a write-off. Yeah, exactly. It's a write-off. That was justified. There yeah. was a laugh. I heard you it. You heard him. I heard I somebody. Heard laugh. I swear I heard somebody. Have you ever pulled it out and got dead silence? Yeah, gotta be. Let me think. Gotta Wait, be. Wait, that many times? There was once we were actually, uh, we were at Skank Fest, like the first year or second year, we were doing... Um, Rich Voss and Bonnie McFarlane's show is just a bunch of female comics judge the looks of a male comic and oh, say, would I f*** him? Yeah, that's um, funny. Yeah, it's funny. And so then 
they were like, you probably have a small dick. And I was like, whatever. And I pulled it out. And they're like, ew. And then I started chasing him with it. I was chasing Corinne Fisher. Yeah. And I'm running after She's running away. She's a great sport, though. Yeah. And then, anyway. Wow. Tony, join us. It's going to be something else. I'm like, I don't, oh my I don't have a, a parallel story to that. Yeah. I'm sorry. No, we don't do that. There was one guy that did it in skateboarding. And Who, we all laughed. Dick out? Yeah, Bill Weiss he used to do skateboard Oh, tricks. and then they, they yeah, whatever. 30 years ago, maybe? Yeah. And then uh, he was at this event just recently that we were at. He didn't take it. No, but they kept saying, like, let's see. Come on, we just get <laughs> yeah. out there. No, I remember. Take, I, remember. I was like, you guys, it's 2023. Yeah. It was 2023. Yeah. I was like, if he, this grown man, takes his clothes off and skates in front of all these people, yeah. there's a legal proceeding that's going to happen here. Bill has... Daughters and I, I saw Bill's face because I remember someone going, "Hey, we stick a nigga," and I looked at Bill like, "We're not." He was like, "I don't have the fight anymore." And he, he, he didn't say. He looked at me and was like, "I can assure you, it's staying in my hands." And I was like, "Good for you, Bill. Look at us all grown up." He did. He did do a McTwist naked though. Really? He did. He did a McTwist naked with a ghetto blaster in his hand. Yeah. I mean, the 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 problem with falling that way, it's so much. Oh yeah, he fell and he burnt his butt and hip and yeah. You gotta twist and like not hit your dick. You yeah, I don't think him. he melted that. Yeah, that would that you, you would have to be an intentional fall to actually hurt not yourself true. that way. Not true. I hit my I hit my wiener in Texas, in uh, a f- cab pivot to fakie, and I just went all kinds of wrong ways, and I landed on my stomach uh, through the transition, and my my hip bone hit my knob. Wow, and I Ugh. went and I went. Me knobs on fire, and then like all these skateboarders called me me knobs on fire for like the years. <laughs> I was say, uh, that doesn't knobs. translate well in Texas because the accent, the yeah. accent got everybody. It was like, he said me knobs on fire. Yeah, yeah. Even yeah. if you said it in American accent, people would be like, "What? My knobs my on knob fire? My knob is on fire." Yeah, yeah, it still doesn't doesn't translate. Okay, well, I was thinking about but that. A song. That that's impressive because yeah, that naked seems skating like a, tricks would be a nice. I mean, that could be a tournament. But naked skating tricks. Yeah, just yeah. Like, that would be the literal kill Tony. It would have to yeah. be. A, ah, see what I did there? It would have to be a closed <laughs> Check you out, man. Not I do comedy. <laughs> yeah, you just did. Hell yeah. So you don't have a skateboard background, Ari? No, I learned. Bobby taught me how to skate just to get from my car to like places in, in LA. I learned at like 28. Ari was telling me because I said that to, you and I taught Bobby to Ollie in 15 yeah. minutes and he goes, he already could Ollie. Bobby's a known liar. I mean, it, Print it made, it? It, I'm, I'm still going to believe it because yeah. it made really good There's content no for us. It's one of our There's no chance. It's one of our best. Learn teaching him how. YouTube's. I mean, he looked like when he tried it, he looked like he had no idea. And then Tony and I gave him some pointers, and then he did it, and it looked like he didn't know how to do it. And he used he to did hang it. out with yeah. skaters. He grew up. No, I know that, but I he know, and he, he did say all those things. But he's just like, I just never learned to ollie. Maybe you got him confused. His brother can break break dance. Oh yeah, Bobby can't do that either. Yeah, he talked about that too. Yeah, Bobby yeah. just doesn't look like he could ollie. He doesn't. He does. But not. he did. We got on video. We got a slow mo that showed that the wheel was off. Got off. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I could jump when I ski, and it's about that. <laughs> I also like, find of air, and it's like no. I also find that to be amusing. <laughs> that I can ski. Yeah, you skiing sounds funny to me. I'm one of the top ten, like you said, real comedian skiers. Right, and I have no, no I, form whatsoever. He he skated, and I was like, "You're in the, you're now in the top three comedic <laughs> skateboarders yeah, in the world." My butt. <laughs> but I just realized that uh, Mark Norman makes you you only, you need you just dropped. Norman can do shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah He'll he, do it while he's throwing. He a was on the show and said, "What was the trick that he did? It was it was like a legit oh, street banger." Yeah, like frontside like flip, frontside nose slide. To let, yeah, like onto a leg. kick like flip, a, frontside nose slide. Yeah, yeah, like a real, real? trick. Yeah. yeah, I was like, okay, you're. And and then he he brought receipts like he showed it like yeah, yeah here it is that's right. like, whoa yeah. I had yeah. one trick I used to do at the comedy store there there was like a little ramp just for like dollies and stuff down like maybe that high are we skateboarding right now what do you mean you're saying you used to do one trick are one you on trick sk- yeah no but so I'm telling you, you the setup or skateboarding S- skating right and it would go down about 15 feet and then go up a little bit to these double doors that would face yeah. the hallway yeah and I'd be like hey everybody I'll, uh, somebody would be like Ari right, do your trick I'm like okay 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 I stand on the edge of it I mean a two feet down top. It's still you know impressive. The back After watching you skateboard out there, this is impressive. Skate down, get just to the top, and then just launch on purpose, slap open the fucking doors. I'm like, oh, f-! and then just act hurt, and people <laughs> come running over every time. It was trick. so fun. It was so fun. I thought that was your exit. I thought that'd be a sick exit. <laughs> just just like, get ah! out of there. Yeah. Just fly out the doors. Jason, you know about rocket money? Yeah, of course I do. 
you know, about canceling subscriptions that you no longer need or want or realize that you're paying for? Yeah, dating apps. <laughs> I should have. I stepped into that one. Rocket Money is your is a personal finance app that finds and cancels your unwanted subscriptions, monitors your spending, and helps lower your bills. Yeah, and face changing app where my face is now like on a cartoon or whatever. That was a big mistake. Because <laughs> it's a monthly fee. Yeah, and I don't use it. It was like one yeah, time. Yeah, those things are like, sneaky. Yeah, and it's stupid. Yeah, well, like, that's why Rocket Money has over 5 million users and has helped save its members an average of $720 a year. That's $720. I, you did that. That's two 360s. Yeah, you, yeah, you invented it. Let's go. <laughs> With over 500 million in canceled subscriptions. So stop wasting money on things you don't use. Cancel your unwanted subscriptions by going to rocketmoney.com slash... Wolf. What? Yeah, me. Oh, well, that's rocketmoney.com slash... Wolf. Have you ever snowboarded? That mm, tried once. Those, those, uh, those, um, what are those glasses company guys? They try to teach me. Spy? No, the ones that kind of wrap around. Black flies? No, the new ones. Pit Vipers. Oh, they try to teach us guys, in, uh, yeah. in Salt Lake. <laughs> Just, yeah. Shows my age. <laughs> yeah, know. Black flies? <laughs> I know, Oakley that was, blades? Yeah, wow. Black <laughs> flies. <laughs> Easy, Duncan. Anyway. So, you, what, so one I day. I couldn't do it. I, it, I could only hit one way. I could only turn one way. Snowboarding, everybody knows. Like every time I've ever helped somebody snowboard, I'm like, here's the, I got to give you the real part. There's one day where it's hell. It sucks. Right. Yep. It doesn't matter who you are, pro skateboard or whatever it is. First day, you got to suck. And yeah. then by the second day, you're like, hey, A to B, I'm going. Yeah, that's whatever I says. But I'm like, I don't get that many days skiing. So right. I was like, I did it for like an hour and a half. And I was like, I'm, I'm just switching. This enough. is f***ing done. I and know. You, and then you went back. I got my skis from the car. I kind of yeah, respect it now. Sense. It's weird. Like when I was in snowboarding and I was younger and trying to be cool. And I was like yeah. skiing. Pff, and I used to ski when I was a kid because snowboarding hadn't been invented yet. And then when I got into snowboarding and being a pro skater, I'm like, dude, skates, are you serious? Like, it's like boogie boarding. Like, I'm not doing that. It's cool again. I, I think now, at, at this point, I don't, like, when I see a guy skiing now, I'm like, yeah, man, like, it's it's easier. Yeah. Like, and, like when you stop and you go somewhere, like, when you walk somewhere, like, is it's easy. The, when I do Way bunny easier. hops and the little wiggle thing to, like, get to the chair sometimes. No, the worst, get up the a worst lift thing. And, like, come on already. We're ready to go. Yeah, the worst part about snowboarding is when someone's like, all right, keep your speed up. Keep your speed up, yeah. And yeah, then and you're like, <sighs> yeah. Right. And then you fall. Yeah, you see when a catwalk stops, and then just like doing yeah. these, and yeah. you're like, come on. Try yeah. try that on like a helicopter trip, powder day. That's you're not going worst. anyway, right? Yeah, when they're like, keep your speed up through this goalie or whatever, and you don't, you're you're hiking it. Right, oh, you got to take for it all a off. while. Dude, yeah. I saw a video yesterday on TikTok where the guy's skiing through trees, and he kind of got stuck through a tree, and then all of a sudden there's a hand that comes out. Oh, yeah. And the guy's like, are you okay, dude? And he's like, no. No. And it's a snowboarder that was there by himself. He just yeah. got lucky. That guy hadn't have just skied got over lucky him. that the guy well. was skiing through. Yeah, he would have well. been in there. Yeah. He was just there. And he was like, hold on, hold on. Don't panic, don't panic. He took his board off and started digging him This out. much of his hand was coming out of the snow. He was wow. He was dead. Yeah. Oh, that's heavy. Right? Yeah. Did you see that? There's, there's a video of a guy with the, he had the helmet cam and he goes into the crevasse. I think no, I saw and then he, he just gets wedged in there. Oh like, no! So he's he's going. You can see that he's he's skiing near a, a wind lip, you know. So you don't really know what's going on over there. Oh. And then he just goes into a crevasse, and the whole thing just you just see snow falling and spinning, and then he somehow gets wedged because it was just bottomless. Like he was gonna Whoa. go off the mountain. Okay, so wedged, and then how did how do you? And then he managed to. to Get, he managed to get himself out. Well, they, people saw him disappear. Okay. So they're over there, and they got. I, obviously, he got out because the video exists. And they, they never show the videos show of the it. deaths. Not on YouTube. Yeah, yeah. okay. But that one's that one's heavy too. <laughs> now that we're. I like the bear ones. Bear Not the fake you? one. Not the fake one. That's a fake one. But I saw one recently of like guys got you in know, like tourist style, probably your ability level. Going down the Go down the main road. You know what I mean? Wee, look out, everybody. I can't stop. Go down the main road. And a bear, run, not chasing anybody, runs through the main road and like goes past his lady and right in front of him and down into the bushes. And I'm like, if you were, 
if you had decided to go a little sooner down yeah, your yeah, main street, yeah. you would like he didn't look like he wanted to hit you, but he also looked like if you were in his way, he wasn't gonna stop. Just like slide no. he was just the gonna way. plow you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Which kind of would be cool. As long as he didn't bite me. Like if I just got bumped by a bear. That would be cool. That especially on tape. Swatted away. What would you rather be bitten by? A bear or a shark? Not not a death blow. Survival story. Not a death blow. Yeah. Bear's cooler. But we're, Is we're it? Bear's cooler. It is not. Sharks, so many people have it. What do you mean sharks, sharks have It's a blase, a to be honest. Who yeah. has? So many. Every surfer. Every third surfer has been bitten by a shark. <laughs> that's not true. That's just yeah. not true. <laughs> I know three surfers and one has been bitten. That's, that's not, not true. just making that up. Bear attacks, I guess. I know someone has been bitten by a shark. The old waitress at the so, La Jolla Comedy Store. So do I. Uh, do you know any bear attacks? Do you no. know any bear attacks? No, I know. You get a point. It's bear, dude. Porcupine's no, probably but, the best. I, a bear walked in. My sister uh, has a place in Tahoe they've had forever. And I mean, it's like log cabin vibe. Nice. And uh, she was on a Zoom and someone was like, there's a bear behind you in your house. What? <laughs> God damn. Like, that could have been said faster as far as I'm concerned. You gotta get, don't don't say in your house. Yeah. yeah. With slowly, like get to the yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't have the exact wording or tempo of it, but it, it came, it was it's something like, like bear, that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Bury your yeah. house, bury your house. And yeah, he just was coming in, checking the covers, looking for yeah. food. Damn. But not trying to eat you guys. Mm, no, not it not her. Like she just, she she left. She was like, oh, I'm gonna. Based let off him Ari, go. I feel like there is a slight fact there that not a lot of people say that they were attacked by a bear because they get they get eaten. It's done, done. So up. it seems like I think is my angle. I think a lot of sharks, from what I know, sharks will bite you and then be like, thinking oh, you that you're good. you're a seal yeah. and yeah. you go you don't taste good, and, and then you disgusting. get to go away. Bears, when they bite you, they're like, oh, I'm eating you. Yeah, I'm so finishing this. I, based on your uh, your estimate of people who have been bit by sharks, yeah, uh, <laughs> I'll, 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 yeah, I'll yeah. fortify that by uh, I went surfing in Newcastle, um, outside of Sydney. Yeah. I got to go surf with Mark Richards, which anyone surfs knows that's he's legend. It was a once in a lifetime thing I got to do, and so he and I go paddle out at this, this break in Newcastle, right in front of the skate park, and I surf with Mark Richards for like half hour amazing we both Sick. caught like we both caught a wave together and oh, wrote nice. it and then we came in and he introduced me to his friend who's got this gigantic bandage on his leg like the kind of bandage where it's like oh you just got a third degree burn yeah okay. or you know you just scraped that off or, or did something skating and uh he's like and he's like oh so so yeah oh how'd you do that uh shark attack he's like when what do you mean oh shark attack oh he gets, yeah he goes, oh, I shark he, attack he goes, I get a shark and I go I go when he's like oh the other day I go where he's like oh. right there where right you, where we paddled yeah, in from yeah yeah like glad to meet you yeah but I like, wish I would have met you earlier <laughs> it's like what are the odds though you know when I'm, when I don't I'm know just, apparently it's one in three one according in three. to Ari it's one in three yeah, but he's a comedian. <laughs> it's, it's rounding you're rounding to that no. I gotta teach you math. Well, think about it. There were three of us. to learn math. He's right. There were three of us surfers there in yeah. that vicinity. It's always one, one of them had three. been attacked by a shark. I, heard, I think it's Rob Machado told a story where he said a tiger shark was coming at him and then dolphins intervened and blocked the shark and he swam to shore. What? He swears it. Might not have been Rob Machado. This is a story my grandfather had about the Holocaust. <laughs> the oh, man. The Nazis were coming to get him. <laughs> some, some local villagers I saved him. <laughs> you think, was it all metaphor? I feel like it was real. <laughs> okay. He was like a surf guru guy. And it's like, I don't know many surfers. And I know Rob Machado. But Rob, Rob's pretty ethereal. So it could have been like, yeah, man. You you mean, know? In his mind it happened? I don't know. I'm just saying. I just sounded How like, far out do you see the tiger shark coming? Rob Machado sees the ocean like no other. Nice. I mean, he's half That's a true. shark himself. <laughs> Seriously, he is part fish. So, part, yeah. right, maybe so you know shot. what? If it happened, if he says it happened, it happened. Do you ever ski in the woods and see like a bear track, and then just get extremely frightened? I don't know what a bear track looks like. It's a big paw. It could be just somebody's hand. You ever shit in the woods while you're skiing? Okay. Do you know the difference between a bear poopy and like a horse poopy? We're on YouTube. I do know. One comes out of a bear. And the other <laughs> straight from a horse. I'm a, dumbing it down. Does a bear like do a bear patty? Like a cow patty? Oh, yeah. It's got to be bigger. I think no, it, I don't know. Does it come in a bowl? Because that's the thing where if I'm in the bush and I see, sorry, if I'm in the forest and I see a nugget poopy, I'm like, oh, no, that's a bear poopy. 
I, I know cow patty because it's like bleh, it's yeah. splattered. Yeah. But if it's a round one, I don't know if it's a bear. It could be a freaking like raccoon or something. Like I don't know for sure. Yeah, I'm with you. Pretty much anytime I see any shit in the woods, I'm like, sorry, poop in the woods. Somebody's you su- some danger is there. You assume a bear. Yeah, I assume something, something terrible. One time I was taking a pee and a mountain lion walked in front of me, and I was young. Like, I was 17, it was my first trip in America, and we'd gone up to the mountains to find this pool. And it was, we had, like, a RV of sort of real jank, like, you know what I mean, dirt ball one, bongs and stuff. And I was like, I gotta take a piss. And I go out and take a pee, and this cat, you know what I mean, comes walking by, and I'm like, you guys, check out this big cat! <laughs> and they're like, what are you talking about? I'm like, a big cat, look right at me! And they're like, there's a mountain lion! And I was like, Cool! And they were like, no, no, dude, it's not cool. And I was like, what are you talking about? He was friendly. Like, he was like, meow. Like, he didn't go, he didn't go meow. Oh, really? He didn't say meow, but he didn't, he didn't meow. go, ah. You know, like, like. Did you feed him some milk? No. Yeah. He, <laughs> he didn't look like he was mad at me. So I didn't feel like was I was. Was he impressed with your, with your. Dunk? That might have been what it was. <laughs> it might have been. He might have seen yeah. like the alpha male in the That's group. That's probably what yeah. it was. Okay, so all three of us, right, we're in the Congo. And it, there, there's the silverback gorillas. And I don't know if you guys know this, but when you go to a gorilla, like uh, like where they all hang out, like gorilla house, you can go sit down with the gorillas. And the, and the, really? And the, yeah, yeah, this is true. And uh, the number one gorilla, the alpha of the pack, he will sort out who is the alpha, and he will go over and sit next to the alpha. What do you mean? The alpha human? Yeah. yeah. What? <laughs> See, you think it's that I'm lie. saying this because you think I think it's me. Was I it no, I, not that. It's not, I don't think... I think it's yeah, the judge, I'm talking income? about the scenario of... Did, did you just make up a scenario? You're saying there's like... It's there's a real a, scenario. Huh? And so does it, does it judge income or like size of followers <laughs> or just like size it of body? It Instagram. No, it knows the alpha of the of the uh, Most confident? I, yeah, I think, yeah, or the smartest or the, I don't know which, I don't know what he's assessing. I'm not a gorilla. I'm yeah. just saying that he always knows. Who do you think it would be? Oh, okay. Between the three so of us? Okay. Uh, all right, us three I'm, are there. Yeah. Oh, wow. I can rule out one person. You, right? <laughs> yeah, 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 that's me. That's what I was going to say. Yeah, yeah. For sure not you. Yeah. <laughs> for sure not me. Yeah. He'll be like, excuse After me. After seeing you put your butt over the side of that ramp, for sure not you. I did it. Yeah. I did it before f- Oh, Neil. you did it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the bear's like, no, sore back's like, not that dude. Yeah. yeah. He can't even swing. No. Yeah, I would say I would say it'd be Tony. I, huh. Your tallest. Yeah. And he's the wisest. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I, <laughs> Who went to college? Oh, he did. Yeah, for sure. You I did? feel like like our dog, He's definitely confused. when we first got the dog, she identified me yeah. as the alpha, and now it's my wife. Oh, no I question. didn't say your wife was there. If your wife was there, that would be a different Yeah, that's story. it. We all yeah. lose. Yeah, I yeah. wouldn't even stop. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. The gorilla would immediately be And she like, would just put her arm around it. Oh, like, yeah. yeah. Yeah, they go walking off yeah, into like, the forest. Yeah, like, what's up with you guys? Just give chores. Yeah. Losers. Yeah, clean yes, up the stand We are better. <laughs> yeah. Man, I feel so Loser small when primates. I'm primates. It's so crazy how small I feel when I'm around your wife. I'm like twice the size of her, and I'm just like, hello, please don't hurt me. <laughs> <laughs> that That is an interesting, like... What is their read? Yeah, what's their read? I only know this because Dak Shepard, sorry to name drop, but he said that he went there with a guy who was like some action, you know, uh, military guy or whatever, and they were both, the, the, the person that was bringing them there said, just so you know, the alpha of the pack is going to go sit next to the to the alpha of our pack. That's how he always operates. And they can, they started jokingly in the bus arguing that it was going to be them. Like, it's going to be me. And the other guy was like, it's going to be me. And they were going back and forth. And then Dax brought up, like, who do you think would be out of us two? And I was like, me. And he's like, no, I think it would be me. And I was like, dude, you're an actor. Yeah. And he's like, dude, I've done this. Well, and who I've was done- it? Well, I didn't go. No, but, uh, it, oh, it was him at he beat the, the he the, beat the, the other dude. The, the gorilla really? went okay. over to him instead of the military. I don't think guy. these girls know anything. <laughs> to be honest, actors yeah. one step up from ballet. Right? Yeah, he has like he has like he had like a wrist guard on from like having some like carpal tunnels. I'm really, like, dude, the gorilla is not going up to you. Like, <laughs> he's gonna take one look at me and be like, right, that's what's up. Yeah. <laughs> he can tell you have diabetes. He's, <laughs> <laughs> he's not coming in. <laughs> yeah, you got sore wrist, buddy. That's not gonna work out. <laughs> so you got works. some autoimmune thing going on. He, right. he can read it. Yeah, like you need like some more magnesium or something. Like get out of here. <laughs> yeah, 
got nutrients, Oh, bro. yeah. What's the girl that looked at my supplements? They'd be like, no, bro. Yeah. He's just, like, giving you a banana. He like, get some it. potassium. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm good on this. He starts baby birding you, yeah. banana. <laughs> Here you go, <laughs> you little baby. Would you want the alpha gorilla sitting next to you? I feel like he'd like he'd be like, I'm the number one alpha now. And just, right? Fuck it. Yeah, I'm the I'm the captain. Yeah, I'm the captain. No, <laughs> I feel like if he came in, I, we would do that. This is like, my family now. We would do that lock like Arnold Schwarzenegger and Apollo Creed. You know, you know, Dylan. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly. Cool bro lock for sure. Yeah, for right. sure. Jason, yeah, this episode mate. is sponsored by Blue Chew. Damn right it is. Greatest it? company ever invented. <laughs> I mean, I guess whoever invented the electric guitar, that was a pretty cool invention. But Blue Chew is <laughs> That's right it. up Those there. Those are the top two. I live for this company. If I had a bunch of money, I would buy the company. And then I would not sell anymore. I would just eat them. <laughs> You just save them off yourself. Yeah, I would have a blue. But face. you like, but don't you like helping others because that's what we're trying to do. Yeah, we're trying right. to well, tell people they can increase their performance and get extra confidence in bed. Does it work? Don't think you need it. Try it for a month and see. Yeah, you don't need a month. Just try one time, <laughs> and you will know that we are not lying. I mean, yeah. I use them. This is not. I lie. pay for them myself when they get to my house. We have I, discussed this offline. I so get excited about yes. my package. It's the most exciting package of. It goes to my then house. It's, uh, hey, with Blue Chew, men get excited to see the postman. You should be. Because when your package arrives, it's on. It's on. It's on. They always say first impressions are important. What about lasting impressions? Yeah, because it lasts too. It goes on and on. <laughs> Just like me, ladies. <laughs> Blue Chew wants to help you have better sex. Yeah. Discover your options at bluechew.com. You chew it and do it. Yep, we got a special deal just for our listeners. Try Blue Chew free when you use promo code HawkWolf at checkout. Just pay $5 shipping. That's BlueChew.com promo code HawkWolf to receive your first month free. Visit BlueChew.com for more details and important safety information. And we thank Blue Chew for sponsoring this podcast. I do, anyway. He, uh, extra, I really do. Extra special thanks. Yeah. But I do want to go. Have you been to Africa? No. I've been to... Uh, What's the craziest where's, where's place? Northern Africa. Israel doesn't count, right? That's Asia. Is it? No, it's not. Istanbul? Egypt? That's Africa. Yeah. But that's not the one you're talking about. But that's pretty cool, though. Yeah. You Where went in to Egypt? I went to the, the, the pyramids. I took acid and walked around the pyramids. Oh, I didn't take acid, but I went to the pyramids. It was f great. <laughs> Did God you go damn. into the things inside it? Yeah, so there's some of them, like, this is under construction, and then you just got to bribe them. You give them, yeah. like, a 10, which is, like, $3 or right. whatever. And then one of them, I was like, no problem if it's under, but I had this thing of Fig Newtons. And I was like, just being friendly because of the acid. And I was like, want a Fig Newton? And he was like, sure. All right, you can get in there. And I for was a like, Fig Newton. Fig Newton. Fig Newton. Yeah. Oh, they it's, pretty tasty, right? it's so crooked there. And they're like, no pictures in this. Unless you give <laughs> yeah. me a Fig Newton, so we went, take a video. My friend and I went in 99. Yeah. What's the main, the, the, in, in um, Giza? Yeah. Uh, the main pyramid, the big one. Yeah. Went down to the bottom of there. And, and the coffin is just there. Yeah. And it was like, there was no security. So I laid in the coffin. What? Red dragon. What? Got so a, got a photo. Dude. And then you got a photo. As I was you got that photo? Get this. You got that photo? I have it. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Look at this photo, you guys. Put it up. <laughs> Boom. I'll find it. Wow. <laughs> See what I mean? You and are then, the alpha, dude. Yeah. You're the and alpha. Then, and I wouldn't have so got in there. Listen to this. this. He'd be, and you know curse, you're gonna worry about a curse? He'd be quivering. That's number one curse ability. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Obviously, it didn't work out. Defiled. Wait, that I'm cursed or like yeah, you're not cursed. cursed. You gifted. Bring a curse. You got it. You risked it. Yeah, you got his power. Yeah, well, you did yeah. get the. So power. wait, so what happened? I'd like to think I was already successful at that point, but maybe you're right. right maybe yeah. maybe you got what about the was the video game out yet? No, that's Boom. it. The <laughs> you got a video game. <laughs> you it was in development. It was in development. Yeah, but it wasn't yeah, going to pop gonna off like it, it did. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't think about that. No, but you know how the 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 stairs leading down is just the the narrowest hallway, yeah. right? There's short back there. So I'm getting up out of the out of the coffin, basically, and there's a group of students coming down the oh, stairs. Oh, you can't and they that shit. And, and they saw me come up out of the coffin, and they all screamed. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> you, you come back and go, whoa! No, they're like, let's go, let's go, let's go. No, we're going to just take a photo. Yeah. Hi, I'm out of here. So sick. <laughs> That's Awesome. Total alpha of the show, man. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, <laughs> I'd be a little. Cause I, I feel like you wouldn't be able to do that now. Maybe not. There's more tourism. What about now. for a bag of fig newtons? Yeah, maybe the whole box. <laughs> yeah. Just beat it while I lay in this coffin. <laughs> <laughs> just keep handing him fig newtons as long as you. There's want just to like a little in. rope there. You can go under it. God yeah, I don't remember it. there being any anything. anything blocking us. The only thing they didn't want you to do is climbing up the pyramid. 
Yeah, on the outside. Uh, I did that for a little bit in the morning. And we climbed up like halfway. You did it. And then the guy was like, come on, come on down. Yeah, we, 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 went up, we went up two blocks and the guy's like, yeah, huh, no. He's like, you can go lay in the coffin. But don't you dare <laughs> climb on the outside of it. I saw a video of a lady go all the way up to the top and people were spewing at her. Yeah, but and they then, can't go get her. And then her. they shamed yeah. her on social media and like got it. Well, they, yeah, didn't some dude like carve his initials in or something? Really? You, you, gotta, beat, you gotta beat that dude's ass. Or maybe that, that was on the wailing wall. Some, something heavy just happened where... That's not cool. Yeah, the dude got blasted and yeah, busted. Should. Yeah, yeah. You should. Was it just, Myanmar and somebody like... There was who? just like... Buddha, where? Myanmar, Burma. Okay. And some guy like unplugged a, like a like a prayer thing. They were like blasting it. And he was like, couldn't sleep. So he went and unplugged it. And they were like, you're going to jail for years. <laughs> and he for was like, years? I didn't know. Yeah, I think I let him out after like six months. He was from Denmark or something. And he's like, I didn't know what it was. Like, you for sure knew what it was. <laughs> like, no way. <laughs> yeah, and you heard it every morning. You heard it every morning. Yeah, yeah. get another hotel, dude. Do you still um, go to places without your, uh, like, passport or money and stuff? No, but I take my passport. That's I mean, wild. So, do you take, but nothing I leave my right? phone and my computer at home. No I phone. Gu- I went to Guatemala. Just figure it out. I went to Guatemala last year. Left everything at home. For how long? Why? Just to disconnect. Oh, Be a okay. nobody. But I thought you were saying because you, you don't want to get stolen. Yeah, <laughs> that's smart. Yeah. No, he goes what? more than like this is a lot, right? Yeah, a few months. A few Every months year. Southeast Asia. No, but I try to. You're just a nobody. You're just disconnected from all this stuff, especially like celebrities. Yeah, we're super yeah. annoying. You just pointed at me. Yeah. That's all right, awesome. buddy. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Check me never disconnecting now. Yeah. Yeah, it's great. The celebrities. It's yeah. great. Stay in Always hostels. great. Yeah, sometimes there's like trouble, but like you overcome it. It's what okay. kind of trouble? You can't figure out a way to get to a place. You got to ask for like local help. In Guatemala, they have these chicken buses. They've like re like bought like school buses from uh, from America. And they mm. just paint them up like lucha libres, and you just like get places. You're like, where do I? How do I get? And like they just point you somewhere, and you're going in the wrong way. Like, do you sp- speak multiple languages? I can get by in Spanish. Nowhere in Southeast Asia can I get by. I learned like thank you and please. Right, but if you just point at things, you can. And if you don't out. have a phone, you can't do the 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 translation Translate, thing. Exactly. And yeah, you you, just, do, you don't care. You figure it out. It's so, it's fun. It's so fun. And then you see like you. You're, you're obviously not from there. Yeah, but you never are. You feel like you are, but you never are. I was in East Timor and I was driving. I was like a, taking a like a motorcycle. They said there's bandits there, and I was just driving. And this got this roughneck with his like coveralls. He was like he kept passing me. Him and his buddy and looking at me. And then, like, then they'd be waiting, like, underneath, like, some trees and, like, smoking cigarettes. And I'd try, drive past them. And I was like, I'm just alone on this, like, shitty dirt road. And they just kept passing me. I kept passing them. I was like, F-. And then eventually they're like, yeah, the guy was, like, caught up to me. He's like, can I talk to you? I'm like, there's nowhere to go. And I'm like, fine. And then he got unzipped. He had this big cross on his neck. And he was like, come camp with us. My whole family's going to meet up. And I'm like, ah, I don't know. But I just went for it. It was a big Christian family. It was awesome. And they were nice. Yeah, it took us to the top of Mount Malbisi or something. So it you was never fucking rad. I was hey, so scared. Why of, was like, it why did it take him so long to vet you? Because he was, he was like, him, he's worried to come looking. up to a stranger. Wow. He was like, We gotta talk to this guy. He seems cool. <laughs> I was like, I don't know, he's a stranger. Maybe we'll hate Let's us. Let's intimidate yeah. him first. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think he knew what he looked like. Were you yeah. ever robbed on these journeys? No. Nah. Nothing bad ever happened. It's a bad, yeah, it's, but I, you go to the place of like, hey, if they steal all my stuff, I'll just buy stuff. And you didn't really have stuff. Yeah, exactly. It's like you a backpack. You only brought cat. You brought credit cards. I brought a couple credit cards, um, s- some cash. To Do put you have in anyone book. to check in with? No, nah, on purpose. No. I, mean, you, I didn't want you any could safety. Be just locked up abroad, right? No one would know. Yeah, exactly. Where, how? Yeah, you got to have the danger, or it's not fun. I don't have to. You'd have to. And when you say you stay at hostels and stuff, yeah. did you ever, because you're a successful comedian, yeah. you, you've you got money. I've got money. I was playing pretend. Did you know you, the song Common People by Pulp? Yeah. Where you, you call your dad yeah. and you end it all? That was that was me. Did you ever be like, you know what, I'm going to take a night off and like get a 100%. Like series. there was like a stopover in, in like, where was it? Phnom Penh where I was like just bad places. I was going to bad places. I was there for one day. And I'm like, I'm getting a nice shower. Right. I'm getting a hotel and a nice shower. Did, did you, and no one has to know that. Did you eat nice food and stuff? Yeah. When you say no one has to know that, it's like... Because it's embarrassing hey, in front Phnom of the Penn, hostelers. Phnom Penh is where I ate that spider. Yeah, Wait, they have. What? That's where I ate that spider. It, where, Phnom Penh, oh, where are you talking about? In the markets? No, at a friend. restaurant. They offered it. Damn. I thought it was on the street when you ate that. No, that was... it. Was they the cooked it up? Restaurant. Was it good? Dude, it was... It just tasted most... like dirt. Like, it was like yeah. a fat one. Like, not a... <laughs> yeah. Did you eat anything weird there? Yeah, in Cambodia, there... I think there, we went on a food tour 
Yeah. And, uh, those like balut, the stuff they have in the Philippines, they have it there too. Yeah. Like the un unevolved like chicken egg. Have you, have you seen those? No. It's like a Dude, just laid that chicken. Is next where, level. The, where, where it's not an egg, but it's not quite a chicken, but the, the fetus is starting to fetus grow in out. It. And, and it's got all like, it's got Tom Segura bones in it. So you like uh, suck it out. Yeah. Very brittle. Yeah. Right. And they're like, you're going to get I would eat a tarantula before that. Guinea pig in, in Ecuador, but that's just good. Yeah, right. That does sound good. It's Do you have a weak stomach? Was it, well, it was it fried on a stick? Yeah, on a stick. Yeah. On a spit. It's like amazing. He has an iron gut. Like, really? you can eat anything, like spicy, anything. And he's like, yeah, man. Like, we ate a, some, what is it, the ghost pepper chicken sandwich? You like, can eat those? Just, yeah. Dude, we ate one. He ate a whole one. I bit one. A ghost pepper? No, no, no. I'd like the, the flavored. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it was, I can't do spicy food that well. But I, I took a bite and was like, I'm, my face is burning. I drove home and shit and vomited at the same <laughs> yeah. time. And then I texted him to see how he was doing the next day because need, I needed a day to recover. He was like, I got on a plane and went to New York. Wow. Yeah. Like yeah. nothing. Do you and ship he, blood? No. Oh. I ship blood every time I eat spicy. And you do? Not slow me down. Maybe that's what's happening to me. Yeah. Oh, maybe. Uh, you need to ship blood. Wait, yeah. you you were bleeding? Yeah, all the time. Yeah, it's it's after from, spicy food, maybe. From the hot food or just from... I think I just ship blood sometimes. I think you've taken too many falls. I need, okay, thank you for saying <laughs> yeah, that. It might not it's be It's that. not the other thing, <laughs> yeah. right? I don't do that no, but you, you eat spicy food. Yeah, I love it. And you bleed. Yeah. And then it's like, all right. Whatever. Sometimes it won't stop bleeding and you've got to take... List, uh, whatever alert but you gotta take toilet paper and shove it up there like a man pond. stops yeah man pond yeah what is it yeah a man, man pond, pond. <laughs> 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 just got it <laughs> like, <laughs> like waiting for it to sink in <laughs> it's, it's, it's a man pond it's big like, black big black man made man pond. Pond. <laughs> right, got it. shout out to robin big <laughs> yeah occasionally it won't stop you gotta change them yeah, yeah. Wha oh wow yeah do you get worried no, but I've lost some. I've lost some pants. Wow! Yeah. Wow! See, that would. I. That's a. That's From, but but as a direct result of eating spicy food. I didn't know what it was at first. I was like, "Why am I shitting blood?" Went to the doctor. He's like, it, "It's not. It's just hemorrhoids." Wow! I yeah. had something spicy last night. It's it's got to be related. Oh, I feel so much better right now. Yeah. I was really worried today. You get that like, bubble. You that? get that bubble in your stomach. Yeah. Nothing? Yeah. Well, I, I did that. Um, I did that one chip challenge. Uh, yeah, I did yeah. that. Yeah. Did you poo blood? No, but I had that was the the worst heartburn I've ever had. Okay. Uh, heartburn. Yeah. I did that. Like, I like just, we were. It felt like someone was just twisting everything inside like this, like yeah. giving me a just full the worst burn, and then uh, I got uh, antacid and it went away. And that oh, was it. Bob's your uncle. Bob's your uncle. Bob's your uncle. I did that, and I was talking trash on top of it, so I was like, "Give me some Tabasco <laughs> sauce," and I put it on there just to be a dick. On the one chip challenge. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's hardcore. Yeah, it was. Fun. What do you mean you don't eat spicy food? That's a, I eat it constantly. That is. Oh, I just okay. Ship blood. He doesn't care. Oh, okay. Yeah, you're not feel like you're not understanding. Man, pop yeah. over here. He's fine. Yeah. <laughs> well, you because oh, right. you, you were saying ghost pepper. We, I never mind. Yeah. So what about uh, bad water in other countries? Yeah, you've gotten food poisoning when you go to these places. I mean, he doesn't really yeah. get it. Yes, you have. Yeah, you have to. In Ethiopia, yeah, like I thought I had some sort of creature living inside me. It's oh. terrible. You it was, can't it stop was, shitting. It was the it was the sickest I've ever been from just stomach issues, food or whatever. Where were you? What environment were you in? A hotel or like somewhere? We were at a hotel. We we were um, in Addis. Yeah. Uh, we were there on a on a charity trip, skating and and doing uh, clean water stuff. But uh, the very last night, the people who brought us there were like rolling out to like the you know the most authentic, legit, authentic, there nicest yeah. buffet. So they're like one step and, down. From oh, well, don't bring me to a buffet. buffet. Done deal. Yeah. What am I doing a buffet? Eat I'm everything. trying everything. Yeah. yeah. So I just had just colors, just paste, whatever. Yeah. One the of next those morning. Colors. We had our flight, and I was already feeling like pretty bad. And I luckily was uh, on a flight seated next to the bathroom. Yeah. Oh. And on the first flight, I was in the bathroom nine times. No. Yep. Dang. I got so lucky that I was near it because that would have it would have just been a disaster. I was and then when I got home, it. I got home. I got even sicker. It gets uh, it goes it keeps rising. Yeah, and then I I went to the doctor, and they're like, "Oh, you might have a parasite, oh. something." Man, I saw a video of that the other the other day with your stepson. We like Googled some of it, and I was like, "Stop Googling it." Was like, <laughs> of a parasite of paras of of things getting pulled out of people's stomachs. Oh, like, living well, like a tape. One guy had it. Yeah, yeah. one guy had like it. A tape just, I don't know why he had to have himself in the photo with it all the time. But yeah, it was like, well, I didn't think I had a tapeworm. Like I was bacteria. so sick. I just thought it was bacteria or a parasite. It's, you don't see it. 
Oh. But it's definitely living inside of you. Oh. Okay. And you got to you got to get that that azithromycin down, but if you're barfing every second, you just have a yeah, little water, that, you're going to barf yeah, right exactly, back up. So all that, like, yeah. And then I had like my I was like dry heaving cuz it was the worst. Oh. Anyway. Hey everybody, this podcast is brought to you by Good R, the sunglass company that makes a bunch of sunglasses that are cheap, 25 bucks, but they don't look cheap. I got a pair of sunglasses that match my speedos. So now I'm in the cold plunge and I've never looked cooler while freezing my balls off. 100% satisfaction guaranteed. Good R is a 100% carbon neutral company. You're helping the plants and the trees and you're looking cool. They're 100% polarized and only 25 bucks. They've got so many different kinds, so many different colors and shapes. They got ones for ladies' heads and dudes' heads. If you've got a big lumpy head like me, they got ones that'll cover it. Some of the names of, the, of these sunglasses really sell themselves. It's the Ginger's Soul, $9 pour over, and of course my favorite, Donkey Goggles. If you want to support the show and pick up a pair, Good Hour has given Hawk vs. Wolf listeners free shipping on their first order. You can go to goodhour.com slash wolf and use the code wolf and get free shipping. Good Hour offers a 30-day money-back guarantee and 100% satisfaction. Find your pair at goodhour.com slash wolf and use the code wolf and get free shipping. You did a lot of drugs when you go on these places by yourself? I try to sometimes. Do you yeah. do ayahuasca and stuff like that? Or is yeah, that I did in Ecuador. Place? In Ecuador you did yeah. ayahuasca? Yeah, the jungle. Is that on the one jungle? Your, on one of in the your, jungle, yeah. That sounds pretty cool. It one of your great. unplugged trips? This was six months during the pandemic. My job was done, kind of. Oh. You know, live gathering was not doing great. Yeah. Right. So, uh, what well, did you bring your phone with you there? I did bring my phone with me there okay. and my dog. And, uh, your dog? Yeah, not to, not to the jungle. We brought her there once, and everyone was like, what are you doing? So we're like, all right, next time we go back, like, don't. When they said, what are you doing, and the dog's there, you got to keep him, right? Yeah, but we're like, we left it at, like, a babysitter in Quito. Okay. But, yeah, you go in there, it's it's it's, it's awesome. Because then the shaman guy's like, hey, listen to all the sounds. They're going to get way amplified once you're on this stuff. Yeah. It was just awesome. We, this guy's playing a drum, and the other person with me was like, where'd you get that drum? It was like, it's from a puma. A jaguar, excuse me. And uh, they're like, where'd you get the Jaguar? And uh, they're like, my uncle hunted it. <laughs> they're like, how long? They went to like a childlike state, like, how long did it take to hunt it? He goes, the shaman's just talking to them in, in Spanish, like, two weeks. And it's like, what What'd they do? It's like, he tracked it. It's like, what's his name? Do you have a name? And he's like, yeah, Shiki Puma. <laughs> so he's just playing this drum for us to get like lost in it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I'm just throwing up on the side. <laughs> Try not to have projectile diarrhea. Did he change the beat ever and then it changed the trip? Yeah, when when you like start to come out of it a little bit, he would just like start start hitting it, and he throws some like wax in the fire, and you just start, start staring at the fire again. Oh dang! Yeah, yeah, it was it was it was pretty nice. <laughs> what? It's yeah. cool. Yeah. I, did it. I was gonna say your your whole vibe is like oh, it's just wistful. Like oh, remember the stuff. Yeah, like that? you're in this. Did you do it? Yeah, it's great. Ever nobody doesn't like it. Yeah, no, no. I'm. He's not the guy. Yeah, I'm not the guy. No, I did it because I smoke. Need... Did you do anything? No. Wow. I need help. I, I drink sometimes. That's why I did it. But not recently. You need help. Yeah. Like, I was scared to do it, but yeah. I'm not as scared as being me. <laughs> so I was like, just just do it to me. If I get a little better at being me, I'll I'll go, I'll go deal with it. Yeah. But it was, I mean, there were some bad parts, but I also feel like the people that told me about the bad parts, when I was in the bits that these so-called bad parts... I, I didn't think it was that bad. Yeah, right, exactly. It was like it's they like kind later. of scared me by saying, dude, you're going to see death. And I was like, oh, man, I don't want to die. And then when I did... Yeah, but I don't think they, they're, they're discounting the, your experiences you've had in real life, too. Yeah, maybe. Because when I was in, and I was like, wait, I'm dead? And I was like, oh, this isn't that bad. No. Man, everybody telling me, like, it's scary. It's that's actually, what I mean, because they haven't had crazy traumatic injuries. They yeah, and, they told us about a couple people that had gone there. And uh, one was a, was a Sicario. From like you know, like a hitman, and like he's seeing what he did, like he's hitting him what he did, Ooh. and he's just like punching the ground, screaming like no, no, and then he comes out of it after a day or two or whatever he did, and then he was like, oh, I'm done with that life, but I gotta, they're not gonna let me go, so I gotta disappear. Wow. But he goes, I can't do that anymore. Yeah, that's I've I, when I did it, there was a thing that that showed me a lot of things that I didn't want to see, and it kept showing me them, and I there was the the shaman guy, like I, I could. 
every now and then I could pop out for a second. Yeah. And I, I remember like I rolled over and I popped out for a second. I was like, make it stop. <laughs> and, and, and then, like, no and then I went stop. back in and it was like, no, we're going to show you over and over again because you're not going to learn the lesson. And then I've recently what had a shift. Learn? I don't want to get into it, but I, 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 least, I recently had a shift of and ch big change of heart on something that I do that I don't want you to do anymore. got back into skating. No, that one, that one just, just <laughs> shut up for a second, will you? But there was a thing that it kept showing <laughs> me that up. I was like, why do I have to stop that? I like that. Yeah. And now I am like, now that I don't want to do this thing anymore, I'm, I'm like, wait, was that medicine trying to tell me not to do that How the whole ago? time? That was like four years ago, I think. And you've been waiting to like ignoring, <laughs> ignoring the advice. Yeah, I ignore you put a pin in it. No, I no, I'll I'll get that, it, you know what? I, I was just like, well, not not that. You know? <laughs> <laughs> that can't possibly yeah. be what I they like mean. That. I mean, I get what you're trying to say, but dude, like, I can't live without doing that part. You know? And now I'm like, Damn. okay, I don't need that. Good point. Wow, well, my bad for not listening to you, medicine, because you were you really pushed that on me, and I was like, mm, oh, I'm not. What did you have a change? Did you? Yeah, I'm just I'm done fighting. Done fighting what, people on the streets. Things. What are you talking yeah, about? Yeah, just like you know, arguing with beef. people. Yeah, beefs. It's all done. You used to be more of a beef guy. Yeah, standing up for dumb stuff. I just want to make great shit. Yeah, that's all I want to do now. Yeah, because yeah, I feel like does, does that mean would you re reactive to people that if they said anything to you, you'd come at them? Yeah, or just like just start being petty for no. It's like it doesn't involve me. Yeah, like you're on your own path. Enjoy. Yeah, right. It's, it, doesn't, it doesn't involve you. I don't know. It's just, but it's not even like I, I'm going to stop doing that, like a resolution. It's just like I have no interest left in it. You know, like when somebody's like, if you don't golf, like come golfing. Like, n no. You know, yeah. like it's not like I'm scared. I just have, I don't want to. Yeah, I feel the same way. About yeah, that. I just don't want to do that shit anymore. Yeah. I'm helping people make their specials now. I'm just yeah. like helping people make stuff or, or Dude, doing your it myself. Your special is amazing. Thanks, buddy. Yeah, you got to be. And and it seems like like you've always been good, but it seems like you weren't getting the respect that you deserve. But this one, it seems like even the basics are like, man, did you know Ari Shafir is a really funny guy? And I'm, uh, oh, really? that's nice. It seems like that. Don't yeah, you it was, don't it feel was like a, that? it was a step up, right? It yeah, did. for sure, it was a step up. And is that you making it yourself? Yeah, that one. Yeah. So you get to keep all the money. Yeah, but I threw half my money into it. <laughs> so, so so yeah, I got Where my money back. Where is that available? YouTube.com. Yeah. Oh, right here. Were you watching this? Yeah. Well, not yeah. probably. Don't yeah. search it yet. Don't Finish search it yet. We still got some time. First, and then go look at it. It's called Jew. Yeah. Catchy. Thanks. You watched it? I appreciate that. <laughs> yeah, of course. Yeah. It's hard to get a copy to, to watch. Straight to the point. This. Yeah, I was yeah. done with that special. I was done with that material. I was like, I'm not going to do it. And then and then that, that, that wait, medicine the, shit. Wait, what do you so mean? So you had done that material live? Live for a while. And then it just didn't work out. Pandemic hit. Some other stuff happened. And it was like, I'm not going to be able to do it. And I was like, I can't. I'm done with it. I move on to other stuff. You weren't going to use it. You were going to say it, it anymore or post it. Yeah, and then and then after that trip, it was like, you got to make some good stuff. Make it. Wow. Yeah. We say I got to make some good stuff. Like y you have to. Y this stuff is still valuable. You should use it in a different way. Okay, you you'd get this when you pure something. You know, you hit a seven twenty or whatever. I don't mm -hmm. know the world enough, but sure. like you do something no one's done. You know, you, or or just on, something you're perfect. On track. Yeah, it's like you've added something to the universe, mm -hmm. yeah. and it'll live on forever. Yeah, those things that mixed with like, mixed with like I, I don't know, never mind by Nirvana, they're mm -hmm. up playing somewhere. Sure, you know. Yeah, and they'll just be there long after you're. But gone. you're saying that was your perspective on it, even though you had done that all that material live before. It was yeah. like oh, I need to document this and have. Yeah, it I need to make it on. into a thing. Yeah, and, that's and have good. Have it be. To me, it was because it was so successful. It was. More like I I saw you as an underdog, and then when that was successful, and I saw you posting like it's a million thing, you know, whatever, and I was like, oh, like it's it's it worked, and the mainstream like and mainstream it. like yeah yeah and it's that like because nice. usually he's you know he's mm -hmm. he's pretty hedgy <laughs> yeah so <laughs> it's like it's are the basics sorry to be insulting but are the basics gonna go for it you know because usually they're kind of like you know I like you know like Seinfeld or whatever but he was. He's not like that at all. And it was like millions of people yeah, recommend yeah, yeah. Like, oh, watching it. Yeah. I was like, dude, you're, you've done it. You know? And yeah. then it was like, if you're not mainstream and you, cause it's like, why do I want to try to be like everybody else? Like yeah. I got my own angle, but man, it doesn't seem like when you have your own angle that it's very easy to break yeah. through. And he did. Be niche. But I like, like, I like how you put it. It's just blatant. It's like, it's not, 
You know what I mean? It's not like you're coming in and like, oh, I wonder what this is about or what this right. is. Yeah, you know, it's, it's there. Like, yeah. And the Jewish community, because my sisters are still like deep in the religious community, and they were like, when they saw it was coming out, they said that everybody was like worried. Like, this is what we need now. A, f- a former insider is telling all our shit. <laughs> you know? And then they all saw it. They're like, oh, no, that was actually really respectful. It was kind of like a love letter. Oh, wow. So yeah. you like, so you all, we liked it. And so, yeah, you, I tried to make it so it wasn't like mean yeah. to them. Yeah. Still making fun, but in a yeah. polite way. And, and also, here's another one of those things, like a perfect thing. I was at Disney and I was at the haunted, haunted ride. Yeah. Whatever. Haunted Mansion. Uh huh. And I'm there with a the chick I was dating. And he, this guy looks like, right this way. And, you know, he, he's yeah. playing the role. And then we sit down. I'm like, damn, that guy was creepy, huh? And then I like, turn back and he, he was just there. He goes, what? And I'm like, fuck. <laughs> and I'm like, dude, you <laughs> nailed it. That moment yeah. is like yeah. you f- pured it. That's great. It's up there. You know, it doesn't have to be never, never mind. And that's a the thing you remember from yes. Disneyland. Yeah, he crushed. No, it. you're right. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> no, I, like I. This, I this think is that a was ridiculous a... version of what you're saying, but it, I think it's kind of funny that my daughter, uh, she has, you know, she has her music. She she has a very eclectic taste in music because like I'm influencing her with '80s new wave and stuff like that. And oh, nice. She's all she's a Swifty, but she also listens to all this stuff. And then we're uh, in the car the other day, and she starts playing Surfing Surfing USA. Yeah. Wow. And I'm like Beach Boys by like, choice. She just got into Surfing it. Surfing USA. She's like, no, we were on vacation like 10 years ago and cuz I took all the the kids to to this uh kind of surf break getaway yeah. we we're, we're staying in Mexico but we we're staying next to this epic point break yeah and so I woke everyone up with that song right. like it's time to go surfing yeah. and she's like I remember that's what I remember from that vacation Super is you dead. coming in at like 6 a.m. playing that song like come on everybody let's go surfing <laughs> that's USA that's so funny also and you like, were not in her, the USA but for her it's a vivid <laughs> yeah that's true <laughs> For her, it's a vivid memory. Wow. Where that was like a fun memory. And for yeah. me, it was just my ridiculous way of making everyone get up. Yeah, yeah. But I like that one, the, the Haunted Mansion dude. Yeah. It's just like you can do great stuff in every little You moment. can, without, like, without much effort. You mm-hmm. don't, it, But you don't even realize it if, if it resonates. Yeah, we had some. I'm just like trying to remember them all now. But was, we had some, there was a Chinese restaurant in San Francisco. And me and my buddy Steve Simona, I don't know if you know him, comedian. But we we're like, oh, what should we get? And the guy's like, I'm just going to bring you shit. And we're like, okay. Oh, that's the best. Yeah. And he just kept bringing it. It's and it was just like, yeah, what a great meal. It is your favorite. That's, yeah. I know. It's, it's so the like curse. You Plus, you'll eat everything. It's, yeah. So yeah. it's like. Yeah. But, it, but it, it, is, it is one reason why my wife and I can't go out all the time. Why? Because people will do that. They'll yeah. just bring food. Even if you don't order it, they're like, oh, chef yeah. set these. If you're stuff. not. Tony I Holtz. love it. I yeah. am so about it. And, and she's, she feels obligated to eat it. And she's small. And yeah. she's like. And she's Tony Holt's wife. So everywhere you go, that happens. But if you only go to dinner with Tony a couple times a year. That's it's awesome. freaking awesome. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, Tony Hawk. I, 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 like, then all of a sudden the chef comes in. and says, like, you know, I watched her, you know, seven twenty video game, blah, blah, blah. I said, it's okay with you. I'd like to. And I'm like, hell yeah, chef yeah. guy. <laughs> when I, when I travel alone. You'd go for oh, it. Oh, yeah. Damn, that's yeah. nice. That's <laughs> nice. That's the perk. But that stuff was happening. I mean, people see you from your special. Once in a while, yeah. I'm yeah. like, can I get you some? My, my openers would be like, free wings. Just give us something. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, okay. We were in Cambodia. We were trying to find weed. And there was like, my friend is like a real druggy like traveler. And she was like, I think this this like bar has it. And she, she went in there. She's like, yep, they've got it. I'm too nervous. And then I went in and the guy was like, some guy from New Zealand. And he was like, oh, it's 10 bucks for, you know, the shittiest, dirtiest weed. Oh, yeah. And, uh, and he was like, wait, are you Ari Shafir? Just some island in, in, uh, in Cambodia. And I was like, yeah. And he goes, what are you doing here? And then she, Sarah, she's just like, free weed. And he goes, yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and it worked. Uh, yeah, it works. <laughs> Man, I, I went to Mexico the other day, and I was waiting to wear my Speedo. And if I wear a Speedo in front of children, it's inappropriate. And the first hotel I went at, there was children. And I was like, God damn it. Like, I'm not going to do that to these people. Yeah. And then we went to an adults-only hotel. So there's no kids. And I'm like, right. Speedo time. And it was cold the first day. And I was like, God damn it, man. And then finally the next day it's sunny. And I'm like, right, Speedo time. It is on. And then I get my Speedo on and I'm like out on some bed thing in the sun. And I got headphones on and my sunglasses. I'm like, hell yeah, Speedo. Listening to my favorite music. And then all of a sudden I feel a shadow over me. And I'm like, open my eyes. And some white dude's like, hey. And I'm like, can I help you? And he's like, you're Jason Ellis, right? And I'm like, yeah, crazy. Yeah, and then you're like, like, free wings. He's like, I love it. I didn't say that. He's like, I love your show. I'm like, cool, man. He's like, can we get a photo? And I was like, in my Speedo? And he was like, yeah. And I was like, 
You're yeah. out in public in it. Why yeah. wouldn't you take a photo? Like, well, because it's it. for me. I'm not. <laughs> I don't, I don't do a photo up. shoot in my speedo. Actually, I did. That thing must be bold. You're you on buy display. An actual You're already on, on display. I'm gonna. I'm gonna dig in on this. You're already on display in a public area. Who cares if you take a photo? Because he's a fan and he's gonna post it and tag me. And so he look, didn't tag me because I was, I was like, just, just leave me out of it or whatever. But, <laughs> but it, yeah. one, one old, t- uh, one old lady, like I came out of the ocean and she was walking with her husband and she like looked at me and went, <laughs> and, and I'm like, it's, and there was another it's old man there that had yeah. a speed on. And I was like, hey, hey, what? Just because I got pictures on my legs, like it makes it more offensive. I'm just saying, if, you, if you're going to hold strong, if you put it strong, out there, it's out there. You're going to put it out there. Yeah, well, own it. I'm not gonna. Stop. That's what I'm saying. Own it. Yeah. Take photos. All right. Right. Well, you gotta wear an extra small one so it bulges out. <laughs> it, it, it was. You're, gonna go <laughs> <laughs> you're like obviously Ari. I didn't yeah. just start wearing a speedo. <laughs> you can wear a baggy one. Get out of here. Yeah. Accentuates. Cinco minutos. So Ari, right, what's next? <laughs> On the road. Just having fun doing stand up. Yeah, On the road, throw my phone away. Yeah. I'm starting a travel podcast. Going to Beirut. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Do you have another one? Yeah, I stopped my podcast a while ago in okay, June. I so. got bored of it, so but but I'm starting a travel tra- one. Yeah, so that talk about different places. Do you have a co-host or just you? Just me, interviewing different people about different places. Maybe I'll get you one about Egypt. Yeah, yeah. Oh wait, it. it's you talk to people in a studio about their travels. Yeah. Okay, I thought maybe show you were pictures, just like, stuff like that. Okay. Yeah, I've been recording them. They're really fun. They really make me want to get the f- out of here. So pretty soon you're gonna do one of those trips again. Yeah, yeah. I think I'll finish this next tour and then. Six, eight months, I'll be gone. How long does a tour go for? It just goes so you're done with the material, and then you're like, I'll record it, and then... Depends who you are, too. Atel will just, like, keep going and then use his best of and do a special. He's okay. the best. He's literally the best. When but you the say rest the best, because he has so much material? Or? He's so much material, and he's so funny, and his jokes are so quick and tight. You watch him, and you're like, God damn it, I suck. Yeah, that's how I feel about everybody I watch. But <laughs> it'll, it'll, it'll grow. Yeah. So yeah. when you go, you like how do you stay on the road or do you go home? No, I did a I did a, a bus tour with Ryan and Renazisi for the first time. That was fun. I'm doing another one in March all a through bus everywhere. Tour, like you guys got a bus. Get a bus go. just for fun. To get loaded. You know, like <laughs> fart up, fart up a whole fucking. You know, <laughs> people like go to the back to fart and then that. Quickly well, I got like, nothing you've described in these tours and stuff is about the foot. performances. <laughs> oh yeah, well yeah, not one. That's the given, aspect I guess. Of it. Yeah, the shows are great. Yeah, blah, yeah. Blah, but that's blah, some, blah. one of the more annoying. Right, good things. crowds, yeah. for super fun, no, great venues. Because, dude, I guess put, I should promote that more. <laughs> yeah, I fuck up. Yeah, I guess if you're not there, yeah, all the I gotta time. keep doing that till I get bored. Then man, dude, make they, a special. They, and then. They're like farting, talking shit on each other, and then they just they're like, yeah, yeah, your mom's a, and then they just go and go, boom, 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 and then they walk back out like it. Like it didn't even happen. Yeah, right. Like that's how you can tell there's levels. When they get to yeah. his level, yeah. they're literally can be telling you about something else as, they're, as the act. curtain moves yeah. behind their back. And yeah. then they spin around and go, bow, like well, suck What's like it. that session in Ethiopia? Do you remember your your session there? Or do you remember those kids? I saw that picture. It's badass. But like, do you remember them more or like your Oh, no, your them. Runs? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So that's it. It's like the shows are great, but like. Yeah. The uniqueness of like the different travel. Parts. Oh, the like, absurdity! Yeah. And where we're just we're going driving to Denver around for two like, straight weeks. What are we doing? What do you do in Denver for two weeks? Have fun. I'll go skiing in the middle. The okay. Monday, Tuesday, I'll go. I'll go up to Vale or something. Oh, because no comedy Monday, no, Tuesday. Yeah, yeah. So those are your days off. Yeah, and it's right there. And then it's tax deductible skiing. What's up, Jews? Take <laughs> <laughs> it. Yeah, I'm having fun. Hey. Thanks for coming. Yeah, nice to meet you. Ari Shafir on Wolf vs. Wolf. I didn't see that coming.